Okay, so this is going to be the last video on determinants that I'm going to do, and it's going to be another another one of those like test problem and E like problems, and so a little bit different. It ha we're going to link then the determinant to invertibility then. And so the question is, this is from a practice exam, I think. For which values of k is a equal to this matrix 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 k 0 0 k 0 2 negative k 2 k invertible okay and so so here's this matrix a and we need to find the k's such that this matrix a then is invertible and what does it mean so what does the determinant have to do with invertibility well a is invertible if and only if, so that's this two-way arrow, the determinant of A is not equal to zero. Okay. So essentially what we need to do now is we need to find the values of K that make this determinant non-zero. Got it? And how do we do that? Well, we have a 4 by 4 You can go through the previous videos or and, and just look at your favorite methods of taking determinants, what I'm going to do here actually is that I'm actually going to use the row reduction method to find the determinant of A. Okay, and so here's A, which is one zero one one zero one zero k zero zero k zero two negative k two k. And remember, we want to get this in the upper triangular. So what I'm going to do then I'm going to take this row and I'm going to subtract then two times this row. So here I get one zero one one zero one zero k zero zero k zero and then this becomes zero negative k zero k minus two. All right and what's next? Now I'm going to take this row, this last row again and I'm going to add K times the top row, uh, the second row, okay? And this essentially zeroes out that guy. So we get an upper triangular matrix. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, K, 0, 0, K, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then K times K is K squared, and you add, so this becomes K squared plus K minus right and so what's the determinant of this matrix then well we just multiply the diagonal the determinant is equal to 1 times 1 which is 1 so this is k times k squared plus k minus 2 and remember this guy cannot be 0 this determinant cannot be 0 so if we factor it this is k k plus 2 k minus 1 and so what we realize then, for this not to be zero, k cannot equal zero, negative two, or one. All right. So our final answer then, for a to be invertible, we need to find k such that the determinant is not equal to zero, and the values of k that make the determinant equal to zero are zero, negative two, or one, and so k is invertible a is invertible if k is any real number okay or a complex number it actually doesn't matter here and k is not equal to 0 negative 2 or positive 1 and this is the final answer and that's how you do this type of problem with the determinant